So you see, both Rhea and Sahil turned out to be quite intelligent. Rhea bought a ball, but Sahil also bought a ball. So children, like Rhea, we all should definitely save money. And we should spend money wisely too. Rhea and Sahil went home to play with the ball. But now, all of us will play a new game here. That is, we will do the exercises given in the book. So dear children, are you ready for the activities given in your book? Yes, let's start. If one ball costs 20 rupees, so Rhea gives dash coins of 5 for the ball. So how many coins did she give to Raheem Kaka? Yes children, think about it. Yes, you are guessing it rightly. 4 coins of 5 rupees. Correct answer. Now, moving on that next exercise. Yes, here Sahil gives dash notes of 10 for the ball. Just think about it. How many notes did he give to Rahim Kaka? Hmm, two notes of 10 rupees? Yes, you are also correct. I know children, you all are very smart kids. Okay, now move to the next exercise. Here, name the toys you can buy for 10 rupees. Yes, you all can see in the picture here. What we can buy in 10 rupees? A flute, yes, you are right. You all remember that we bought a ball for 20 rupees? Yes, I hope you remember. Okay, now tell me, you already know this, then name the toys you can buy for 20 rupees. Yes, children, correct, a ball. You are all smart and very intelligent kids. Rest you have to do it by yourself. I know you will do it very nicely. Now it's time for the next exercise. Here, find the total amount and take the correct option. You can see there are two children and two of them are playing an addition game. Now it's your turn. So we can see one rupee coin, again one rupee coin and five rupee coin. So will it be 11, 7 or 3? Just guess it. Yes, you are absolutely right. It is 7. Smart children, I know that you can complete it. So come to the next one. Here you can see 10 rupee note, 2 rupee coin, again 2 rupee coin and again 2 rupee coin. So children, will it be total 13, 18 or 16? You have to find out. Yes, correct. It is 16. I know. Next, you can do it by yourself very easily. Now it's very interesting topic. Yes, we are going to talk about the money. Yes, you can see. Here, fill or draw the amount in different combinations or groups using the given currency. Now you can see the picture. In the picture, we can see 5 rupee coin, 1 rupee coin, 2 rupee coin and currency notes also. We can see 10 rupee note and 20 rupee note. Here you can see in 10 rupee combination, we can take only 1 10 rupees. Here we can do it in a different way. Here we take 5 coins of 2 rupees. So it becomes 10 rupees. That is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 2. So it becomes 10 rupees. Right? And there is other way also. What we can do? We can take 1 5 rupee coin and 5 coins of 1 rupees. That is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and 1 plus. So it becomes 10 rupees. I mean 5 rupee plus 5 coins of 1 rupees. It total 10 rupees. So children, that is the way you all can do it nicely. Correct? 
I know you all can do it. Moving on to the next exercise now. Come. Yes, you can see in 13 rupees combination, we take 5 rupees coin and 2 and 1 rupee coin. So that is 13 rupees. There is other way also. What we can do? We can take 2, 6 coins of 2 rupees and 1 rupee coin. So it becomes 13. That is so simple. What we have to addition? 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 2. So total number of 2 coins becomes 12 and we have to add 1 rupee coin. So it becomes 13 rupees. Alright. Dear children, there is another way of adding 13 rupees. How we can do? We can take 1 5 rupees coin and 2 1 rupees coin. That is 1 plus 1. And 3 coins we have to take of 2 rupees coin. And that is 13 rupees. I know you all are very smart children. And you have nicely learned about addition of the money. So here we used many coins of different different amount. We used 1 rupee coin, 2 rupee coin and 5 rupees coin. And other than this we used 10 rupee note also for the addition of 13 rupees. Right? I know wonderful children you are. Come on. Let's move to the next exercise now. Here, match the same amount by drawing a line. Now, you all understand about the different types of coins and notes and the value of the money. Now, there is a small exercise for you. This will be an activity for you. You have to do it yourself by matching them with the correct amount. So children, you have learned about the money. So saving money is a good thing to do. It means keeping some money for later instead of spending it all at once. Saving helps us be ready for when we need something important like buying needful things or helping others. So let's save a little bit every day and see how it adds up to something nice later on. Alright. So you see, it is so easy to know and understand the different types of coins and notes. When we start recognizing them, we can easily understand the price or value of any item and then make purchases too. I hope you also enjoyed today's chapter. I will meet you again with the new and interesting topics. So till then, take care and keep learning while playing games too. Bye-bye. <laughs>